Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HD. This is video 29, and today we're talking about the Mod Mixer, probably one of the most confusing or complicated modules in the entire synthesizer. So let's go to a preset here, and let's use tuning for this, because it's probably the easiest to make sense here. So let's select none here and go to the M Mix 1, which is the Mod Mixer. So basically, this thing processes three different modulation sources in three different types of ways. So the easiest one really to wrap our heads around is gonna be some modulation. So we're basically adding a modulation source one, a number two, and a number three, and then basically cons is basically adding that value to it. So for example, let's go for the first one, let's select envelope two. The second one, let's go LFO one, since we already have it there, right? And give us a modulation amount. Slow this down here as well. So it's basically adding this envelope two to LFO one and whatever this cons value is here and giving us a new modulation source. And as we change this envelope two, we can see that the modulation changes too. Let's increase our amp release here and a little bit of our envelope release as well. Now this is where it starts getting really crazy because we can kind of wrap our heads around that, right? Envelope two, whatever value that is, is getting added to LFO one. So let's add another LFO to make this a little bit more confusing. Let's go to LFO two. And for this one, let's go to a random hold here and uh, let's see what happens here. <laughs> So we can kind of tell that this is doing this random shape kind of mixed in with this first LFO and also the envelope to amount. And we can see this a little bit more if we start removing this amp over here. So if there's no amp, it's, it's kind of like it's doing what it did before because there's no value here, right? And if you increase this, So we have that LFO going, but we have this weird randomness that's kind of imposing itself on our shape here. So definitely a cool concept by adding different modulations together to create something entirely different. So we have a couple different versions here, right? So this is the sum modulations, and the next one is scale sum by const, which is basically the same as this first one we were talking about, but this const actually multiplies rather than adds the value. The next one here, this last one, fade one slash two by three XC, which is basically the cons determines how much of the mod three signal cross fades between mod one and two. So something like this is probably best learned using it because it's, when I was using this for a while, it was kind of like, what does this thing do? But once you kind of spend some time with it, it kind of, kind of makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> Yeah, you can get some very, very interesting shapes with this here as well. And keep in mind, this const value can be modulated in the modulation matrix. So if we go down over here, for example, and then we grab this here and select const, we can actually modulate this with yet another modulation source to make things even more chaotic. So definitely spend time with this module. It's probably the one that's going to give you the hardest time throughout the entire synth, but it's very fun to play with. So yeah, hopefully you learned something. Have fun with this mod here, and we'll see you in the next video.